trust us to be able to achieve this great milestone of performing more than 50 tabby cases and I think it's a great achievement. Welcome to CVS Cardiology, the Intervention in Cardiology team. We are delighted to share this particular new treatment. Well, we won't say new treatment, it's been here for more than a decade. Um, it's called TAVI procedure. This is the heart, and this is the left side of the heart, and this is the right side of the heart. The left side of the heart contracts or pumps blood to all over the body. It has to go through a little valve that controls flow in and out so that it opens up so the blood can go up when the blood is all been ejected out it closes so that the blood does not come out particularly as we get older these valves can get really narrowed down 40 50 years ago these narrowings are usually due to uh, a condition called rheumatic valve disease but nowadays it's a degeneration as we all live longer so the valve is narrowed and when the people have problems from the narrowing, we need to treat it. And in the past, it has been a major heart operation, but I'm gonna ask Dr. Rosli to explain what is the new treatment and what we've been doing here in CVS KL. Technology allows us to treat this valve by replacing the valve without going for surgery. These are patients uh, that if we deemed appropriate, the device is in, uh, inserted through the groin most time. And when it's at position at a point where the valve is, then this, uh, the new valve is being deployed. There are two types of valve that is being used. One is, we call it a balloon expandable device. So the valve is crimped onto a balloon. And when it is at that site, then the balloon is expanded and therefore the valve opens and stuck against the wall of the uh, iota. The other device is through a self-expandable device. It means to say that the valve is still crimped, making it very small, and it is covered by a sheath. So when the device is positioned at the aortic valve and we feel that it's appropriate, we pull back the sheath and the valve starts to expand to what its original size is. And the valve uh, which is uh, within uh, the device will then start to function. As the population gets older, you will get more of these aortic stenosis. The Western population sees a lot more because their mean age is actually higher. In the beginning, because uh, the surgeons do a very, very good job out of it, is that uh, the valve was intended for patients who are very high risk in the very elderly. But then, over time, studies have been uh, made to then decide on younger patients and the moderate to the low surgical risk. Doesn't mean TAVI doesn't have complications, but it generally tends to short hospital stay, maybe two or three days at, at maximum. We are working towards even going back following day. We have also uh, allowed patients to have additional uh, procedures to make it safer. We are doing some procedures to protect them against stroke and so on. I think it's uh, a testament to the people that we have here. Of course, we must say thank you to Rosalie who spearheaded this without him, this would not go. Have the not only the skill but you know the friendship and the whole the whole support system and also the willingness to push the boundary. I mean, private hospitals doing super complex cases using Impella, Tavi. You said we are being recognised in the region as, as as a tertiary private hospital that's providing the best for the patients. We we really like to thank the hospital management, uh, our hospital staff, the colleagues and really more importantly the people out there to trust us to be able to achieve this great milestone and I, I'm sure all of us agree and uh, thank you all very much.